Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to see me to do some RV handyman stuff. I got, I got a couple of things that I want to take care of on the motorhome. The first one is I want to figure out where we want to start carrying our Coleman pop-up shelter again. Love that thing. You haven't seen me use it in a long time simply because we've been park hopping. Hopefully we're going to be slowing down a little bit. So I want to figure out how to incorporate that into the motor home kit. Let me show you what I'm thinking. The other project is ad adding a sewer hose carrier. I have, I have switched over to the a two-piece 20-foot Rhino Flex sewer hose. I want to get rid of that red tub on the hitch haul. So I, ah. so what I'm thinking is, I have a lot of, a lot of unused space right here. Of course, this is a big mess. Would have been nice if they'd have done this a little neater. But I think. I think I can put a shelf in here that's kind of a floating shelf, semi-permanent, that would allow us to carry the, the shade structure with us. That way if we've got rain or a hot sunny day, we, we have that, sh that shade structure with us and we don't have to rely on the, the awning. Yeah, I know the RV has an awning but I'm afraid to use it because the because of what happened to us in the, the mountains of North Carolina. The, uh, so I'm going to start carrying my Coleman pop-up shelter again since we're coming into hot summer stuff. So I want to eliminate this and put the sewer hose under the coach here. Right under here so that I could just open that and there's my sewer hose. So I've got a I've got a pipe that's in designed for that. But you gotta figure out how to mount it down there. I got an idea. That means we gotta go to the big box hardware store and buy some stuff. So I'll be back after I bought my stuff. Stay tuned. I didn't tell you what the third project was. So there's, there's three projects. We have a Wii Boost on the coach. And we don't plan on getting rid of that. But now that we have Starlink, so the Starlink dish, what we have just sits on the ground or I guess I could set it up on top of the coach. That dish is not really designed for permanent mounting on a motorhome and I'm sure that Starlink's gonna come out with one. And so this is for my Wii Boost pole. I want to create something similar to that for the Starlink dish so that it's a couple feet above the, the top of the coach. So I gotta go gotta go find some some parts for all of these three projects. I gotta go get some stuff. Stuff from the, wherever I can find. I gotta go get some stuff from the place where you get stuff. You know, you know that kind of stuff I'm talking about. All right, I'll be back. So, I, <laughs> I forgot to, I forgot to start recording. I forgot all about you. I was so caught up in my project that I forgot to, I forgot to start the recording button. I've got the shelf installed. So what I did was I I put in some some little stiff legs. So I put a little block down there in that corner, and then I have a a saddle block sitting on top of that. And I did the, the same thing on the other end. So that way we have a support for the 1x12. 
and I went ahead and I put the one by fours on the side and it's probably overkill for what I'm doing but it's better to have a little little strength than no strength at all It'll keep it from sagging and if I measured right there should be just enough room for the package so let me go get the package back here nice and tight so now we have usable storage in a, in a previously useless place okay on to number two have the camera going so I won't forget this time you gotta close the slide so it's a little easier to get under there so this is the Valterra Easy Hose Transporter. Basically just a long plastic tube with a locking cap on the end. Bracket is just over six inches wide, so the one by six is gonna be our support platform. It's gonna end up something like that. I am using a treated 1x6. Hopefully we don't get any more warpage. And since it's going to be right behind the, the differential, it should be okay. Cross my fingers. There's not any other place to put this, though. So, I've, I've given this lots of thought. Of, you know, maybe I could put it under here, but putting it under the basket but still I, I would rather have it right there by the right there so let me let me crawl under the, the coach take some measurements and we'll cut a board so what I want to do So I want the end of that holder pipe to be right at the edge of the coach. Not sticking out, but right there convenient. And then I'm gonna screw it to both of these struts. It's gonna come to right up there. That should give me that should give me some room to play. Let's go cut it. Speed square. Fantastic. Tool. Cut it a little bit long. Better too long than too short. I, I did it again. I got I got started <laughs> working and just forgot to hit record. All right, so I, I've cut the board and then I doubled it up because this is going to be hanging out a little bit. And I don't need a scrap piece of lumber laying around anyway. So now it, it actually will be at a bit of an angle when it's under there. That way, if there's any moisture in it, it will run out. Now this, this tube actually has a removable cap on both ends. So I'm actually going to wrap a piece of wire around that one. Make sure it doesn't disappear. And then I'm going to put, put wire around both ends. Just in case we have a screw back out. 
a little safety wire. So let me let me get the safety wire in place and then we'll crawl back under and start doing some screwing under there. done crawling around under the RV. Now we can go work on the fun project. All right. Uh-oh. I'm gonna fix that. Ain't no way no. All right. Important thing is I've got the, I have a place for the sewer hose. Need a carabiner. One carabiner coming up. We're done with that project. Six feet. This is where it kind of gets tricky. Let me think about what I'm gonna do here. So I just happened to have some pieces of oak laying around. I'm, I'm using treated one by four uh, for the riser. And now for my lock, I'm using the, I'm gonna use one by four on top of here and screw and glue to the the riser the oak box that that way it'll give us lots of lots of strength going with a, a lighter weight wood a pine we wouldn't have as much strength in this lock key's going to be figuring out how far apart to space that but i'll, I'll get to that once i i'll cross that bridge We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Nice and snug, which is what we want. So now, figure out exactly where that one needs to be placed. I realized, and I should have realized this before, if I take these corners off, I actually don't have to be quite as far apart, and it'll be much simpler getting it locked into place. So, all right. 
10 inches. The top block to the bottom block, bottom block to the top block. That's our, seems to be the optimal spacing. 10 inches. I'm gonna screw in glue. So that's what it looks like up close. Before I clamp it, we're gonna go do a temporary clamp. And we're going to, have to cut the pipe. So there's how I'm going to mount that. I still need to build my my socket. Had to run to town and get some screws. And then I got back and I forgot all about the camera. Shooting video and fabricating make things doubly challenging because you, you gotta anyway it, it's difficult for me to do both so i am approaching the the finish line here with our star link in dish mount i went ahead and added a, a stiffening piece it's just a little piece of poplar i had because i noticed the board the the one by had a bit of a warp to it and it was making it bind up. Now, I did have to spend some time sculpting because this, so I'm using my, my the pipe that I'm using is inch and a quarter EMT. And I cut my block inch and a quarter. That should have been a an inch and a half to give me a little play with the, the, the pipe. But I went in and used the belt sander and sculpted that so that it's actually a very, uh, it's a nice snug fit. But it's not sloppy. On the back side, I've got the mounts to attach to the ladder. And I'm about to do the final test fit. So I'll take you along for that. And then... Then I got a paint. So let's let's go do our test fit. Yes. It worked. Well, I might I think I'm gonna have to take a little bit off of that because it's kind of hard to get a hold of a pipe. And with that weight up there will be a bit of a challenge concept works and i also put a block in here so this is inch and a quarter emt let me pull this down i'll show you what else what other fitting i have the other fitting is this is a watertight connector for a junction box or a, or a panel and the antenna it slips right in there sweet all right now i need some paint i'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of painting i'm gonna sand it down paint it and then when it's done and i get it back on install i'll cut back in where do you store long pieces of pipe in your motor home well if you're fortunate enough such as we are to have a big pass through you can see back there all the way through so i have got my eight foot pipe as well as the as the directional we boost antenna That's where you hold them long pipes. All right, let's 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 take a look at what we've got going on the back here. So here is here's what it looks like now. So while it, we, had a, we had a week worth of rain, and while it was raining, I went ahead and put together a holder for the Wii Boost antenna as well, kind of give us a little bit of symmetry there. last thing for you is to see what it looks like with the 
antenna and the dish up there. So let me go get that. It's done. Now we see what it looks like with both the cellular booster as well as the Starlink dish. Dishy. Dishy is what they like to call it. I need to, I think I need to paint pipe yellow instead of red. The, and I, I want that to be super bright so you don't forget what it looks like. So you don't forget that it's there. It'll just be something to add to the the break the takedown checklist. We've got plenty of clearance on top of the RV for the the dishy. Now all we need to do is go someplace and test it out. But that's for a different video. On this video, we're done. Hey, if you found this to be entertaining, enjoyable, informational, educational. Ah, just darn fun. You know what to do. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if, if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. Thank you so very much. I'm truly honored. And for my patrons, thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?